Here's a look at thunderstorm activity in Northern California earlier today. You see it going across the screen. This is a time lapse video of Clear Lake. Thunderstorms formed just after 1230 this afternoon, quickly passed over Clear Lake and Lakeport. Here's Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan with a look at the forecast much different in the valley. Well, we, we didn't even get much rain out of those couple of lightning strikes, though, and we even had one small fire that was started by lightning on the south side of Clear Lake. But now all of that is cleared out. We have mainly clear skies in Sacramento, a comfortable night. We're already down to 82 degrees, so we have clear skies. We have a delta breeze, and after having a warmer afternoon that we saw over the weekend, we're going to have another very comfortable night. Currently in Stockton, we have sunshine. It's 84 degrees with a wind out of the northwest at 13. Here, too, really nice cooling tonight. We will get overnight lows down into the low to maybe mid 60s in some of the warmer spots. Modesto currently is 88 degrees with sunshine in Fairfield, already down to 76. You can see the marine layer working. The southwesterly wind at 24, 76 degrees at this hour. It's going to be well, it's going to cool off rather quickly in Solano County tonight and rather windy too, but that's the benefit for the valley getting a nice cool night and in South Lake Tahoe. It's mostly sunny and 76. The high temperatures today warmer than the weekend, but nothing too high for this time of year. The 98 in Sacramento that's downtown Sacramento, which often runs as one of the warmer spots in the greater Sacramento area. And just as reference, not too far away at Executive Airport, the high was 93, so kind of a big difference there. But either way, those temperatures are likely going to be some of the coolest temperatures we see this week. We're going to keep clear skies in the area throughout the night tonight and over the next couple of days. It doesn't look as though the monsoon will be coming back anytime soon. The question for later on this week is just how hot is it going to get? Maybe not so much the next few days, but more toward the weekend. And here's the uncertainty. Depends on where this high is and where the low is off the coast. Over the next couple of days, these two are in a favorable pattern to get our daytime highs up around that 100, 102 range. They get our overnight lows back down into the low to mid 60s. As we head into the weekend, there's a question about where this low will be and where the high will be. If everything moves a little bit farther to the east, we'll have more moderate daytime highs. If everything stays a little bit farther to the west, we'll see multiple days over 105. So that's the uncertainty that we'll see, but that's not until the weekend. In the meantime, tomorrow we'll see sunshine in the Sierra. Daytime highs in the 80s once again with overnight lows in the 40s. The foothills will drop down into the 60s tonight. Highs to our 90s like 93 in Placerville and 95 degrees in Sonora. Napa will stay in the low 80s. Fairfield low 90s and for the valley a little bit warmer than that as you might expect. We'll stay in the 90s. However, 98 in Stockton, 96 in Modesto and maybe as high as 98 in Sacramento and Roseville. The next couple of days into that 100 102 range with more comfortable overnights and then here's the weekend. Still some uncertainty about that, but we're going to see daytime highs perhaps in that range of 105 to 107. So if you're making plans for Labor Day weekend, you might just want to think about yeah. it could be really hot, so maybe do things in the morning. That's Sort of thing. Things to watch out for. Yep. Thanks, but Mark. Hopefully that shift will happen just we'll enough to keep us more comfortable. Thanks, cool. Mark.